everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2018! Yeah! Today is actually not supposed to be a filming day, but then Dior decided to send me something. Ah! What a great start to the new year because there are new products coming out from Dior. We will see this together because I've actually not opened it up yet because I want to do an unboxing here with you guys so that you can see my real, real reaction and we try to figure things out together. I think that's always fun. And of course, other than just the packaging, Dior, you really outdid yourself this time because you sent me beautiful balloons. Oh my gosh! It's it's so cute. You guys want to see it? There's like balloons at the bottom and then this big balloon and then there's like a silver star one. Basically the silver star, I'm trying to avoid it because like kind of shows you the entire messy room. Thank you so much Dio for the balloon and also the gifts. Before that, let me just show you my top. Pretty or not my top today? It's like a Korean, it's called, um, I think it's called Jogori if I'm not mistaken. It's like a Korean modernized hanbok kind of top. If you're interested to buy some modern hanbok, let me know and I'll see, I'll see what I can do. Alright, now without further ado, let's let's go into the whole unboxing. I have two lip glows. Yeah, I have two lip glows. One is the orange color one. Another one is the purple color one. And they have just been in my bag, in my to-go bag. As compared to the lip maximizer, I have not used my lip maximizer as much as I used to anymore. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I mean like, it's like every year they come up with new shades. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a Star. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so not just they have. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna read this to you. But above all, new finishes matte glow. Ho 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 matte. The first soft matte balm by Dior. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and, oh, I'm already like not telling you, but already like excited. And hollow glow. Holy shit! Hello everybody! It reminds me of Christine, the Simply Neological. Hello everyone! No, sorry. It's hello everyone. It's me, Christine again. <laughs> An iridescent texture in the holographic trend today. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hollow! <gasps> yes, yes, Dior. Yes, yes. I mean, I'm excited for the matte one as well, but I'm just super, extremely super excited for the hollow one. <laughs> I think I'm a hollow sexual now. <laughs> Thanks to Simply Neological, I tell you what, like, yo, I blame you lah. Oh my gosh, they didn't just give three of the new ones, they give like one, two, three, four, five. Wait, there's no second one right at the bottom. If there's like a second layer, I will, I will like be so <laughs> crazy. Thank you, Dior. Nice. Oh my gosh, there's more than one hollow? Jeez, I'm gonna take everything out and find my hollows. So the matte sticker has a bit of a matte-ish kind of finish to the sticker while the ultra pink one has a more glowy one. The hollow one has like glitters on it so it's, it's easy for us to identify that they are hollow. I tell you if it's Christine, she'd probably say that this is not hollow, this is iridescent. <laughs> but I'm not Christine so. When it comes to hollow, there's a certain way of deciding if it's actual hollow but this doesn't look like it. This looks like more of just iridescent silver and pink and color coral kind of glitters in it or shimmers in it but it looks really pretty though hello purple oh this reminds me of the Too Faced one the whole unicorn kind of lipstick that they created some time ago a little bit of purple and pink kind of shimmers in it we'll leave the hollow for the last one because I feel like the shimmer is gonna go everywhere so we're gonna start doing the swatch now and I'll let you know how I feel about each and every one of them Let's start with Ultra Pink first. This is 008 Ultra Pink. Like most lip glows, it's so comfortable. Very, very moisturizing. Looks really nice. I think this color is really, really nice and I believe it's gonna be very suitable for a lot of women out there. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. Oh, it stained my lips. Lip glow kind of does stain your lips a little bit. We're gonna try the matte 010 matte pink first. I feel 
yeah, this is very, very, very light. If you have tinted kind of lips, if your lips is a little bit too dark, I don't think this will be suitable for you. Probably you have to use the raspberry one because I feel that even if you swatch it, it's almost to nothing. So it's very, very, very sheer. The pink is super, super sheer to the point that you can't really, yeah, you can't really see any, like if you see a swatch it, you can't see much of the pink as well. But for those people who have lighter lip color and you want something that is very easy to wear, and very sweet and light in color. This one definitely gonna be a great one for you. I can definitely see the mattifying effect as compared to just now one, the ultra lip pink or ultra pink one. You can see it's very glossy and very glowy. Now that I see up close, it's not super matte like a liquid lipstick kind of matte, but as compared to other lip glows, this is definitely more matte. It has more matte finish to it. It's so smart of them to come up with a matte finish to be honest. For me, I really do like it as well. This is something just very easy. If I just want a little bit of color, nothing too crazy loud, this is really nice. Next one we're gonna try is uh, 102 Matte Raspberry. From the tube itself, it looks super matte and nice. Such like a nice lipstick to put on. Oh, I'm so glad that these are moisturizing. Definitely this one has so much more color as compared to the pink one just now. Similarly, look up closely. It's not like a liquid lipstick kind of matte obviously. But again, as compared to other lip glows, definitely much more matte. It's very, very moisturizing. I think if you have more of like a darker kind of lips but you want a moisturizing matte balm this one will be for you it looks very similar to the ultra pink just now but this is more of a matte version nice i like it very much hollow time yes 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 okay we're gonna try the 010 hollow pink Ooh, ooh, yes with the light oh my gosh It's so pretty in person. I can huh, put it all on my face. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't even know if the camera is doing justice. Now that it's on my lips, it does look a little bit hollow. It's definitely not as like blink as the Too Faced one, but it's pretty gorgeous. It's very pretty, my gosh. At this point of time, you probably think that it just looks glossy. I'm so obsessed with this. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Dior, you guys are crazy. This is awesome. I don't know if the camera is doing justice or not. I don't want to move it. Next up, <laughs> purple. Hello. This one, I can really tell that it definitely is iridescent. This is definitely not hollow, shifting from purple to other purple shades. <laughs> What a great way to explain that, yo! So the pink one I feel is more true to hollow as compared to this purple one. It's not as glossy as the other one. I feel like I like the pink one better. I think it's more glossy and also it has more like character to it because of the, the shimmer shades in it. Creaminess wise, it's all the same. It's all very comfortable on the lips. It all smells pretty much the same. They really step it up a notch to make it prettier, which is interesting. It's no longer just a lip balm, okay? I want to put back the hollow pink one before I say goodbye. This is how much I like the hollow pink. This is like the swatch comparison. This is the purple one. This is the pink one. That's pretty much it. All the colors, I think when you swatch them on your hands, they look a little bit different. Especially the purple and the pink one, you can kind of tell that's purple and pink. The difference is also in the finishes, which is matte, glossy, and also hollow kind of finish to it. Yeah, thank you so much Dior for this amazing goodies. I absolutely love them, specifically the hollow one. Alrighty then, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos. Oh, also if you want more information of these lip glows, I believe I will put them in my blog post so you can check them out in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Video. Bye!